hello guys and welcome back to another video my name is visha and if you're new here guys thank you so much for stopping by and if you're an oldie but goodie thank you guys so much again for clicking on my video so <laughs> in today's video um i was asked could i do a video of our homeschooling journey so i would definitely go ahead and do that and some of you know i started homeschooling last year um during covid which is one of the main reasons why we had started homeschooling Nevada. And I just thought that, you know, it would be actually really good and really fun to homeschool her. I am glad that me and my husband decided to do it because her schooling here um, in El Paso was, it was downhill. And a lot of people who come from like different areas, they actually say El Paso for them is was good um but for us it was horrid and her teacher was amazing don't don't get me wrong by any means he can only do with what he had um so her teacher was amazing guys if you could see in my <laughs> if you could see in my dresser yeah i just did a fall decor youtube video so if you see that i have on the same shirt whichever one come first i mean fall dollar tree haul so whichever one comes first it might be the haul or it might be this video so but that's what you guys see on the um through the reflection i just thought to say that but anyways so we yeah decided to do homeschooling because of covid and we learned that nevea was not a good virtual student at all and she she was just not she preferred not to be on the computer to do her schoolwork she would actually ask me mommy could you print this out for me so i can do it she and then i would have to take the picture <laughs> and send it back to the teacher we were wasting a lot of paper and and a lot of ink doing it that way so my husband just decided you know what let's just go ahead and homeschool her and plus with this whole COVID thing, we did not want her to get sick. Nevea is a person who easily, somebody cough, she coughing. <laughs> she easily gets sick. So I was, I was just was like, yeah, for a peace of mind. So my homeschooling journey so far, when we first started last year, it is totally different by the end of the school year. I was so structured um, because as some of you know, I also too um I also too was a teacher assistant and a teacher assistant in Germany. So I'm used to structure. I'm used to a a schedule. You come to class, you we we during this at this time, you know, math, reading, science. We all had certain times we eat lunch. Like I was so structured to the point that it was kind of frustrating her and it was kind of frustrating me because I'm like, you know, we'll be doing reading and you're reading us for an hour but it's taking us two hours to get through this or so my homeschooling journey is completely different um we do block schedules now so we do block she'll do reading i think it's reading spelling and math on one day then the next day is um language arts language arts and writing so yeah we'll do reading spelling and math the first day and then writing and language arts the second day and then we'll have like a fun friday we do not do school on fridays the only way i would do school on friday is if i grade her work throughout the week and i see that there's something that she needs to work on that we need to redo then we'll redo it on that friday um, so she do her spelling tests on friday she does whatever work that she needs to redo on Friday and fu and we have fun Fridays. So we do actually do fun Fridays. So we do block scheduling and then fun Fridays. If she has no spelling test, if she has no, you know, no makeup work, Friday, we're off. Um, I'm saying um a lot in this video too. Take a shot every time I say um. No, don't do that because I don't drink. <laughs> Y'all better not do that. But anyways. So that's the beginning of our homeschooling journey. Then towards like the end, that's when I came up with the block scheduling. 
so then that way it was more of a unschooling type of thing homeschooling became more fun and not like oh my god I'm, I'm doing this same thing every single day so I actually honestly really like it I have no complaints with homeschooling so far it was just in the beginning it was hard because we would always clash maybe because she's my child I know her um I just said on again I know her potential and I know she has the potential to be great and it's not that I was trying to force that onto her. It was just the fact that she was lazy. Like, I think she thought since I'm mama that we could just have do school, which we weren't half doing school, okay? I take education so seriously. Education is so serious that I, we don't play about education in this house. Another thing with our homeschooling journey, a lot of people ask me, I'm sorry, a lot of people ask me, how can we afford homeschooling? All of her books that I get for her, as I already told you, she is not one to be on the computer. She would ask me to print out the work and then submit it. We weren't doing that. So I just went and bought a lot of workbooks. Workbooks, the fourth grade curriculum, um, math, science, language arts books and I actually have a it's gonna be right here I actually have a fourth grade curriculum I posted up here in the cards so that you guys can go see it's very inexpensive every book that I have bought is less than twenty dollars now the books that are more than twenty dollars are actually like the chapter books that we're reading that we're gonna read or like DK books I love DK books if you guys don't do anything else get dk books dk books are so good the dk spelling last year was amazing the dk multiple um, multiplication and division was amazing the dk cursive writing was amazing she can write cursive like she can write her name in cursive like she ain't finna be Oh, they didn't teach you cursive. She did cursive. I'm just playing. But no. So, DK books are amazing. Anything that you can find to help your your child in a specific area, a specific subject, you can actually buy it. You do not have to go buy these big old curriculums. And it's not that I cannot afford it. Like, we can't afford it. I, I have no reason to go look up, up these books because a lot of youtubers that do do youtube they are christian based and i did not want her education to be restrictive and you know restrictive um and i'm just gonna leave it at that i wanted her education to be open to everybody to everybody even though christianity is in a lot of cultures I just wanted it to be open to more things. Um, her, I just wanted her mind to be expanded beyond certain beliefs. So I did, uh, yeah, I just decided not to do Christian based books because we're not religion. We don't, we don't have a set religion in my house. So why would I do that for my daughter? Okay. Then um, what else? Do we have a set schedule? No, we don't have a set schedule. I do, however, because she is one who will get lazy, you know, and go back to bed. <laughs> I do have, she does have a morning routine that she has to do before she starts schooling. And I will actually do that because another YouTuber asked me, could I do our homeschooling schedule? So we bas we don't really have a homeschool schedule, but I can like show you guys what we do throughout the day. We do now, we're basically unschooling. I had to get out of that mindset that everything, that mindset that everything had to be structured like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No, we going from A, skipping all the way to D, to F, to H, to L, M, N, O, P. So <laughs> that's the only metaphor that I could give y'all. So yeah, we're not structured, learn, structured learning at all. It's not on the time base, whatever time. So I can give you an example. Um, this following Friday, because she had some stuff that she needs to redo because she did not understand and I was working we i didn't realize that we were like on math 
for two hours for two whole hours i didn't even realize that because there's no time i don't have my phone and i'm looking at the time like oh my god we gotta hurry up no nope, i don't do that anymore we was just on math until she got it and i don't force it in her head at the you know all at one time no we gotta redo this let's redo it together and that's what we do now we do a lot of unschooling i do a lot of art she is one who loves art she loves to be creative we do a lot of art another question i get as well is her social life guys she's a social butterfly she wants to play outside all the time with her friends she literally waits until her friends are out of school she's like ma can i go outside i let her go outside so she does have a social life um if i put her in sports like i just put her into baseball last um did well last school year which is still this year she played baseball when we move whatever extra activity i can i'm gonna put her in i'm just gonna put her in it so that she can still have a social life homeschooling the only child does not mean they don't have a social life she still talks to people she still talks to her friends and also she has opened up to me more she literally talks my ear off and I'm like, be quiet. But <laughs> she talks to me a lot now, which she didn't do that before. I don't know if it's because she's getting older, but no. She talks to me a lot now. She asks a lot of questions. She's more curious. And I guess since I'm the teacher, she can come to me and ask me questions. And even if we're not doing school, like she'll come to me and ask me a question. I'm like, okay, come on, let's go look it up. We can do that, you know. So it's not a set time. Oh, another question I get is, do I homeschool her during the summer? Yes. We homeschool this whole summer. She only had two breaks. I mean, two weeks off. Two weeks off. Now, if I wanted to, I could be like, you don't got to go back to school until, you know, October, November. But we started at the beginning of August. I just went ahead and let her start at the beginning of August because we were done with school in May. She took off one week, so she had three weeks. She took off one week that when we came back from San Antonio, I had her homeschooling every day, every single day. And it was like 10 to 15 minutes just so that she wouldn't miss what she learned over the summer. So 10 to 15 minutes of homeschooling. And that was it. If it took her longer than 10 to 15 minutes, like I told you guys, it just did. <laughs> like sometimes it would take her, like I go to work at 9, I go on break at 12, she's still in the office with me. So she was still homeschooling. I gave her two weeks off, no homeschooling. You don't got to read, you don't have to do anything. Don't do it. Guys, guess what she was in her room doing? On the computer playing math games doing oh my bad doing reading games so the education was still there which i still enjoyed so we don't have a set schedule we can afford homeschooling by just buying inexpensive books you guys can even go on to teachers pay teachers they have free free reading like books online for their grade levels where you can do the trial y'all do the trials i put that in that um fall I mean, in that fourth grade curriculum, too, you could do the trial, print out all the books that you want to print out, print out all the worksheets that you want to print out. You have, I think, 14 days, print out everything that you want to print out for that school year. It is a trial. It's unlimited. Um, take advantage of trials. Take advantage of trials. Also, I work. I still work. So with me still working, if she needs like, you know, whatever she needs, I'll go buy it. Or I just tell my husband in advance, hey, Nevada need X, Y, Z. And we make sure we have that money set to the side. So another thing too, oh yeah. And another thing too is we save money on school clothes and school shoes because she's homeschooled. Where's she going? Instead of out the door. <laughs> Instead of out the door. So now, like seriously, all her clothes and stuff that we buy are just in case like we go out to dinner, which we haven't been doing that because of COVID. Or we're going to the grocery store and she just want to look cute or something. 
that's it and that's it because she's home with us so we don't have to spend two three hundred dollars on school clothes like we were doing before half that if anything goes like i spend two three hundred dollars now on school supplies school books whatever and that's calculated over the school year not in the beginning but calculated over the school year what else about our homeschooling journey so when she's done with school a lot of people always ask me is she bored because sometimes Nevaeh is done with school like I said I be I, can, I work from 9 to 12 and then again I get off at um, 3 or 4 o'clock it all depends on my day so sometimes she's done at like 1 o'clock she's done at 1 o'clock what is she doing for the rest of the day she can't get on her phone until I get off work. So I always tell her, go watch something educational on TV. You guys know on Disney Plus, you they still have like, I guess it's like animal stuff or whatever, whatever she be watching. <laughs> but she knows like you can't just watch anything. And I keep my office door open so I can hear what she's watching on TV. If it don't sound educational, turn it off. Um... So we, we there's a lot of things and since we're gonna get ready to move our know our school our homeschooling journey will change because I will be off with her and we might get through homeschooling quicker. She's my only child. I have no other children here to homeschool and if we're homeschooling like we're doing it together, I know for a fact that we're gonna fly through work like that and if we do, I just find us more activities to do the i find us more you know artwork to do more decorating to do i i give her that free will to do whatever she wants to do when we're done with school except for being on her phone and except for just sitting there watching you know that's a raven all day or spongebob all day but yeah that is our homeschooling journey it's quick easy and simple me and my husband both agree to the homeschooling. Now, when we move here and we move to another state, we don't know how that's going to work. I just do know that in Texas, you do not have to report that you're homeschooling. You just have to let the school know that she was supposed to, you know, that I was, and I took her out of school. I let them know the subjects that she was going to be doing. It has, it cannot be a sham. Nevaeh's homeschooling is not a sham. I keep everything. When I tell you guys, I keep, I keep everything. So I keep everything just in case you know somebody come and acts like hey what is she learning i keep it i make her take she takes spelling tests every single week because i want to know that she knows and some of these books that i had bought her like the spectrum um word problem book it actually has a like a post test it has a pre-test to see where she at then it has a post test to see if she learned what she you know to see if she learned what she learned so, if she fail, we don't move on to the next thing. We go back over it until she gets it. And if she passed with flying colors, we can skip it. You know, we can skip it. And it's not me giving her straight A's because last year, she got C and she was so disappointed. She got a C in reading and she was so disappointed because yeah, her previous teachers have given her A's. Um, language arts, she got a C. She was so disappointed. And math, she got a B. And reading, which I was, yeah, reading, she got a C. Math, she got a B. Um, spelling, she got a B. I got her grade book. It's somewhere in there, but she didn't make straight A's. And I told her, it's okay not to make straight A's. I'm not teaching you to be a good test taker. I'm teaching you, I'm teaching you to be an adult, really. Teaching you to be an adult. I'm teaching you that it's okay to make mistakes. I'm teaching you not to quit on yourself or not feeling like I don't get what I'm doing. I have to give up. I'm teaching you that it's okay to ask for help too. So it's a lot of things that homeschooling is building up her confidence. Let me say that. Homeschooling is building up her confidence. Whereas when she was in school, 
she was not so confident she didn't she did not ask teachers questions if she did not know the answer y'all she would put anything seriously put anything and did not care about the grade which now with homeschooling if she doesn't know she asked me so that's our homeschooling journey it's it's very simple and it's very easy because i only have one child now if i have multiple children to homeschool i'm pretty sure like we'll be doing this all day <laughs> but i only have one child she's in the fourth grade she does independent work now i let her do independent work if she don't get it she asks me for help and we'll go over it and that's about it there's no set schedule i don't care if it takes her two three hours on a subject there's no set time you know i'm not rushing her to do her work like i told you guys the past friday we was on math for two hours nevaeh's not good at math like she's good at language arts and like she's she's phenomenal at writing and phenomenal at spelling but math and reading are not her strong suits so and it's crazy because she's good at language arts <laughs> And she's and she's really good at um, reading, circling the words if they're misspelled, adding periods. She's good at editing. Um, we do a lot of editing of articles and stuff in her books. So she's good at that too. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope my homeschooling journey is, you know, helpful and m will motivate you to homeschooling. I absolutely love it. I wish, you know, I would have started this at during kindergarten with her with homeschooling because she would be f way beyond where she is right now. But you know what? It is okay. Um, COVID happened and that was the perfect time for us to homeschool. You know, COVID is, is very bad and a lot of people have died from it. Even I have some family members die from it too. So... But when COVID hit, it was just like, yep, pulling her out. We can do it at home. I work from home. We can afford it. We're both working. You're not doing it by yourself. So a lot of people think that I'm a stay at home mom. I am, but I work. <laughs> I'm a working stay at home mom. Now, when we move, you know, cause we're gonna get ready to move. I will be done with work soon. So I will officially be a stay at home mom. I made sure that I got her everything that she needed so we're not going to the store buying stuff or whatever and if we do need it you know i know that it's less than twenty dollars let me not say that let me humble myself but if i had to save 10 to 5 10 15 24 whole month i would do that until i get 20 dollars. so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know your homeschooling journey at the bottom if you do homeschool and you have a homeschooling page let me know oh also follow homeschoolers follow homeschoolers on youtube like that sits well with you you do not you do not have to do everything that they do but just follow them until next time guys thank you so much for watching peace